And today, I'm gonna take you to some of the beautiful sites here in Houston. Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of Angel's Video Diary. And I'm so glad you guys are here. And today, I'm gonna take you to some of the beautiful places here in Houston. And syempre, kasama ko ulit ang aking love of my life, slash cameraman, Edward. So we went to 10 amazing and stunning places here in Houston that are great for taking pictures and are awesome to share on your social media accounts like Facebook or Instagram. And we did all of these in five hours. And I'm gonna give you different locations in the order that we went to. I'm so excited to give you 10 Instagram worthy places here in Houston. Are you guys ready? Here we go! Number 1. Let's visit the BAPS Shree Swaminarayan Mandir. At hindi mo iisipin na nasa Houston ka dito. Well, actually, this is in Stafford, Texas. And it's 30 minutes away from downtown Houston. And the Mandir is a place of Hindu worship and prayer. The view here is amazing and very picturesque. We went inside the temple, but we had to remove our shoes. And there's a place where you can leave your shoes. Photography is not allowed inside, but outside, you can take as many photos as you want. And FYI, if you're planning on visiting the Mandir, please make sure you are not wearing anything revealing. Also, food and drinks are not allowed within the vicinity of the place. Entrance is free and the Mandir has a parking area where you can park your car for free. Next on the list, let's head to Smither Park. And the park is less than 30 minutes away from BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir. Smither Park has a lot of amazing and interesting sculptures, making it a great spot to take pictures. This is the perfect spot to see some cool mosaic sculptures created by local artists. And it is located in the east end of Houston. And free street parking is available in the surrounding area. Coming up next is the Teen Hao Taoist Temple. It's a Chinese temple located in East Downtown Houston. And this is another great spot to visit and take pictures here in H-Town. And guys, like the Mandir, it is also recommended that you do not wear anything revealing when visiting the temple. Although, I'm not sure if they are strict about the dress code. And we also parked our car right outside the temple for free. Next on the list is actually not part of my list to visit. So we were simply driving to our next destination and we got lost because I typed in the wrong address on Google Maps and we accidentally stumbled on this place. When it comes to graffitis and murals, Houston has it all. This huge flower caught our attention and we did not hesitate to park our car and snap a few photos. So we decided to walk around and found more amazing murals. This mural happens to be a project of the McDonald's owners and operators in Houston who support a number of organizations and people who try to help and make Houston a great place to live in. Of course, I did not know that until I went home and googled the place. And on to our next destination. Let's check out Sawyer Yards. So during our first two weeks in Houston, we were trying to look for something to do around the city. And there was a farmer's market happening at Sawyer Yards at the time. What caught my attention were the murals on the buildings. Well, I couldn't take a good picture of the murals because there were a lot of tents set up around the area. At sinuerte kami kasi walang event dito ngayon. And this is also a great spot to check out local artists and artisans. Coming up next is one of my new favorite things to do when I'm exploring a city. 
You know, I'm going to make it my mission to find these locations in every city we visit. And I'm talking about greetings from Mural. It all started when we went to New Orleans and took this amazing photo. And here we are at the site of greetings from Houston Mural. Oh, FYI guys, this mural is actually on the side of a gelato shop. So after taking your photo, you can enjoy a gelato inside the building or outside whatever floats your boat. And our next stop is another great location to take great photos. Guys, welcome to the Montrose paint wall. Like the greetings from Houston Mural, this paint wall is also on the side of the building right on the side of the building's parking lot. So there were a lot of cars parked right outside the building and there was just one spot without a car where Edward was able to take these amazing shots. All right guys, so time to head to our next destination. Hmm, but wait, I think I see a nice building over there. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a restaurant called the Black Labrador. So Edward thought the colorful doors were nice to take pictures. And he was right. Right next to the Black Labrador restaurant is the Houston Public Library that has this amazing view. And we're down to our last stop. You know, I haven't been to Chicago, but I think our next stop would be the closest thing to remind you of Chicago. Well, at least this sculpture behind me. Welcome to the Lily and you Roy Collins Sculpture Garden. It's a beautiful garden right in the middle of the city with a lot of interesting sculptures. By the way, please do not touch the sculptures because if you do, a security in the garden will tell you not to touch it. Just a friendly reminder for you guys. There's actually a beautiful fountain a few blocks from here. Oh, I'm not talking about the fountain right behind me. But, well, that one is beautiful too. I'm talking about a much bigger fountain. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Just try to check out the fountain if you can. There you have it, guys. These are just some of the places you can visit and take awesome pictures around Houston. Well, I still have a lot on my list. Unfortunately, they are closed for renovations. So expect to get a part two on this one as soon as those buildings are back and are open to the public again. Oh, by the way, comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this video. And share your Instagram-worthy places here in Houston so I can include it on my next video. Thanks, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And do check out www.mypurplepages.com. I also wrote an article about this one. That's it for now, and until next time, see ya! And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.